Sure. I don't think we made an error today. So that's two errorless games. You know, we had to grind through uh, the self-inflicted wounds on Friday and, and persevered. And that game is, is a great story, as you guys know, and, and shows the heart and the character of our team, but really followed it up with solid baseball, you know, facing, you know, in my opinion, one of the better pitchers in the league last night in conditions that were not favorable to offense, you know, only scored four, but um, had him on the ropes a lot and put pressure on him, played a complete game defense, Garrett obviously doing his thing. And then today, you know, um, the starter, Wraith um, kind of carved through us there for the first time through. And once we got a chance to see him, um, our guys made good adjustments the second time through and, and really didn't let up from that point forward. I think a couple of the home runs were with two strikes, uh, really hit well with runners in scoring position. And again, as you're on the air column, uh, Gil Luna, really good story today. Um, you know, he's really worked hard and, you know, kind of gone from, you know, not getting a lot of time to somebody we're relying on heavily you know, going forward. So really happy for Gil. Um, thought Austin, you know, managed not maybe having his best stuff for a couple innings and those guys out of the pen did a good job too. So yeah, Sean, to answer your question, I thought this was a very complete weekend. Was there anything that you spoke to your team about or do you, okay. Yeah. Uh, or would they figure out themselves by all means coach go for it? No, that's okay. Um, we had a, we had a little bit of a, a hitters meeting to start the fourth inning and um, it was more of a, it was more of just a mindset thing demanding you know more out of yourself and your at bats um i thought we looked a little tired you know in 11 a.m after 6 a.m and at this point in the season coming off the finals uh can understand it but we can't accept it with with where we're at and what we're trying to do and I, it was just honestly an elevate the focus you know the plan so let's not let external things get us out of the plan and they did dante walks you know brandon tip my hat to him he had three balls hard last night uh, getting back in, in tune. He put in some really good work this morning and it was an early game. So that tells you what time he was here doing that. It's great to see that translate into some success for him. And then just carried over Ryan, you know, two strike home run, uh, Barry two strike home run, you know, really good day again for Tony Bullard. So very pleased uh, with the hitters and, and the position players today. You know, until that fourth inning today, the series was very close. Um, really kind of could have gone either way. What did the overall outcome tell you about the competitive spirit of your team? Well, I, I think, um, I don't know what this is, sorry. Um, answering your question, Michael, and I think it's a good question. I think, I think Friday just shows you who the players are as people and as competitors and how unified they are as a team. You know, we had to overcome a lot of adversity. A lot of it was self-inflicted. Uh, it wasn't going well, uh, but I think we got the lead, gave up the lead, got the lead, gave up the lead, got the lead, gave up the lead, and just never quit. So I thought that was awesome. I thought, um, you know, the coaching staff did a good job this weekend of preparing for them. I thought we we pitched them well. I thought we positioned them well, and I thought that helped our defense the last couple of days. And and bottom line is the pitchers got to go out and execute for that. Um, I, I knew they were going to use a lot of guys from the mound. And so I thought we did a good job offensively. I think it was 11 to two today, 17. And, and last night we were better than four to one. I mean, we, we had a lot of guys on base, hit a lot of balls hard, and nobody was going to hit a home run last night as these guys that were here could, could attest to. So um, I'm very pleased with, with the series and, and what our team did with it. Coach said that you came out early today for some extra batting practice. What time did you get out here? Yeah, I was out here. I got here at... Um... Let's, I think like 8.30. Normally, like on 6 o'clock games, we get here at 12.30 to hit. I was here at 8 o'clock, um, did some work in the cages, hitting, you know, trying to just fix my swing and really feel feel my barrel um, and hit on the field as well. So, you know, I've been feeling really good, putting in a lot of work and time. Um, a lot of the guys are doing the same thing. I, was, I wasn't here alone, so it was a good time. Sure, I'd say slump is probably too strong a word, but you had that little stretch where – you just weren't getting the results that you had been getting earlier in the year. Did you get frustrated at any point about that? Um, I'd say my old self would get frustrated with that, but, you know, being here for a couple of years and really working on my mental game, um, you know, my big thing was just trying to help the team win and doing anything that I could to help the team win. So I was really just working hard, um, you know, putting in a lot of extra time, you know, to get my swing back and feel good again. Um, and, you know, try not to get mad at myself and just, you know, really, help what helped me was cheering on my teammates and you know really love I love their success so that really helped me
when you say your old self, you basically mean sort of like your pre Arizona self. Yes. Yeah. And even when I got here a little bit, you know, I had to work on it a little bit because, you know, I don't play well when I'm mad. So uh, big picture wise, how do you feel about where the team is at right now? I feel great. You know, this is this is the greatest team I've ever been a part of. I feel like we're we really gelled together this year and we know how to play well together. So I'm, I'm really confident in where we're going. Um, you know, we're just looking at the next games ahead of us, not looking too far ahead. So we're just going to get back to work tomorrow and later on this week. If, if one were to just sort of casually look at your results, they might see a sweep this weekend and think, oh, yeah, this is exactly what we expected to happen. But how much uh, how hard was this series to 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 win every game? Really hard. You know, it's a D1 baseball game. They're a great team over there at Washington, you know, struggling a little bit this year. But, you know, there's some good players on that team and we really had to stay focused and stick to our plan and, you know, just play our game. Uh, none of these games look like one of the other. How important is it to kind of go through those experiences and gain those experiences throughout the season, throughout a weekend, as you guys get ready for, you know, the stretch run here? Yeah, like yesterday, um, Coach Jay told us after the walk-off win, um, it's all about what you do the next day. Um, you know, we can enjoy the win for the night, but, you know, the next day, it's all about focusing on what's ahead of us. So, you know, I think with that mindset, we really did a good job. Um, you know, none of these games, like you said, have been the same. Um, so I guess it's, for us, it's just sticking with it and, and playing our game. So this weekend started out for you with you getting your degree and it ended with you um, getting a win uh, on the mound. I think it was your first one since 2019. How would you summarize just kind of what, what the whole weekend was like for you? Yeah, I mean, at first when Monday came around, it was very, very hectic, very stressful with graduation coming up. But um, I was able to, you know, just stay stay on the right track and having my parents help me out with the whole graduation thing it it just felt amazing you know, after graduation I had I knew that we had a big week in series coming up and it was just preparation being able to prepare and keeping the focus off graduation just a bit and understanding that the weekend was coming up and it was an important one so being able to be prepared and keeping my my head in the right spot it helped me a lot this was the longest outing of your career in terms of the number of innings that you pitched. How did you feel out there? I felt great. I felt great. Um, my biggest thing was next pitch. Um, I didn't really focus on how I was feeling. I didn't focus on, you know, how many innings I was going to go tonight or today, sorry. And it was just next pitch, you know, make a pitch here, make a pitch here. And, and I felt great. Everything felt good. And um, yeah, when, when the SP came out, I knew it was time to pass the rock to the next guy. And did, uh, Dawson and Flanagan did a great job. So it was good. This is the best that you've pitched here at Arizona uh, by far. Um, was there ever a point during your career where you're questioning whether it was going to come together the way that it has now? Um, I always knew that it was there. Um, I just felt like some pieces I needed to work on some things and finally things are starting to click. Um, but yeah, it's all come down to being able to prepare better for the weekend series and taking care of the body a bit more. Um, Yeski's helped me a lot, um, setting the, the right routine for me to be successful. And I feel like um, with the coaches behind my back and the staff with me, I feel like everything's coming, coming along how I wanted it to. And it all starts, it all starts in the beginning from Monday to Sunday. It all starts understanding what I need to do to be ready for the weekend. Is that the biggest thing that you've learned from Coach Yeski, the preparation piece? It's one of the biggest ones, yes, being able to prepare and set a routine that is comfortable for you. And I felt, I feel like I felt that routine that I have now. It's really helping a lot. Um, it's helping me stay healthy. Um, yes, he has talks to me here and there, and it's, it's helped me a lot. And I feel like being able to keep my head down and just work and getting better. And I still have improvements to make. So continue to get better and, you know, getting his information that he has and the knowledge that he knows is helping me a lot.